Hi everyone, it's a short guide how to connect gamepad as the main MIDI device or in combination with another MIDI device like Akai Pro LPK25. My main door is Logic Pro X and I will set up it there. For the connection to MacBook I'm using USB cable, micro USB cable and when you connect it, it will turn on. In order for the controller to be perceived as the MIDI device, we need a controller made program. The link for this program uh, in the description of this video. So installing, rebooting and start uh, setting up. Looking for our controller, then press any button to check uh, the connection. Yes, it works. I will uh, use right trigger and left trigger and a button in a field of program items uh, create a programming page then we need to put a left trigger and right trigger yes it's Yes, it works. Left trigger, right trigger. Then we need to switch uh, from controllers to MIDI output and MIDI variable controller output. Uh, we will connect it between each other and then uh, we can to assign any um, outputs in logic. So I'm adding uh, a button for the MIDI node, for example, C2. Left trigger is assigned to 102 and right trigger to 103. Um, then let's open Logic Pro X. I'm using um, for this guide um, FabFilter 1. Okay, let's change uh, cutoff filter to 103. Yes, it works. Mm. Oop. Yes, 102 for pitch. Yes. And 103 for cutoff filter for frequency. Okay. Yes, it works. And pitch, yes. Okay. Boom, it works. <laughs> so let's experiment a little bit. Yeah, cool sound. So let's try to record. Okay, as you can see, each manipulations uh, recorded. It's cool news. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay, let's combine with uh, Kyle Pk twenty five. Um, okay, everything connected, and it looks like this. I think it's super fun. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, I added um, some effects like step effects. Um, it's um, Logic Pro um, Pro's uh, plugin, and I just wanted to try um, to use uh, Gamepad as the controller with Timeless 2. And let's try to um, connect uh, our um, triggers with um, panning left and right panning okay 
So as you can see, we need um, to use control assignments and we need to use learn mode. When you do this, um, the desired parameter fits with the trigger on the controller. Okay, and it works. Okay. And let's try to left trigger to a side um, right panning. Okay. We need learn mode again. Mm hmm and it works. Okay, let's check it. Right, left. Okay. So it's good news. Uh, let's try to um, uh, record it. Uh, we need um, touch function in automatization. Yes. Okay, guys, I'm done. And uh, if you have any questions, um, just write it here. I know that sometimes the usual ways of writing music are not um, satisfied. So don't get bored and expand your gaming and creative experience. I hope this video was useful for you. And have fun.